Hi guys, you are on VRM24.com and today we are going to assemble Xiaomi Redmi 13C. First of all, we need to remove the card tray. To do this, we use a special tool, carefully insert it into the hole and gently push out the card tray. If the tray doesn't come out well, we can additionally use tweezers. Next, we need to heat the surface of the back cover to approximately 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. For this, we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. And after 5 to 7 minutes, we can move on to detaching or ungluing the back cover. To detach the back cover, we use a thin plastic film. This film can be a film from a new display or a film from a stationary store. We carefully insert it into the gap between the back cover and the middle cover and run it around the edge, cutting off the adhesive packing. We should always be careful around the side buttons, as the cables may be located in these places. This model has the camera cover separate from the back cover, so we may not be too careful around the cameras. And we open the back cover, on the back cover we have only the gasket presented. After that, we need to remove the screws at the top and bottom. For this, we use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or Phillips hash 3 We carefully unscrew the screws and place them on a special surface in a specific order just in case. If the screws are hard to remove, we can additionally use tweezers to remove them. And as always, we leave one screw which is fixing the cover with a speaker, so that it doesn't prevent us from detaching the middle cover. Then we move on to detaching the middle cover. To do this, we first use a thin plastic film, insert it into the gap between the middle cover and the display frame near the car tray hole. We detach a few clips and then we can use a thicker tool. We also go around the edge, unclipping the clips, thus detaching the middle cover. We should always be careful on the corners, because the cover is especially strong on the corners. And of course, we need to be careful around the buttons and fingerprint sensor, because there are buttons and cables. So let's try to detach the middle cover. We need to be really careful not to damage the fingerprint sensor cable. And we gently open it, turn it over, look at the location of the cable. First we disconnect the battery connector with a non-metallic tool. And after that, we can disconnect the fingerprint sensor connector and remove the middle cover. Now we can unscrew the one screw that secures the cover with the speaker. To do this, we also use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or Phillips hash 3 o We carefully unscrew this screw and put it aside. Then we detach the cover with the loudspeaker. We carefully hook the edge, lift and remove the cover with the speaker. After that, we disconnect the interboard cable connector, disconnect the coaxial cable connector and we can detach the subboard. We find the right place where we can gently hook, lift and remove the subboard. On the subboard we have the charging port, microphone, and other elements on the back side. And our traditional quick test of the microphone hole. We take the tool inserted into the microphone hole and notice that the microphone body itself is located on the subboard on the opposite side from the microphone hole. Accordingly, even if we can insert something into the microphone hole, we simply cannot damage the microphone in this way. And we move on to disconnecting the connectors on the motherboard. 
First we disconnect the coaxial cable connector, then we disconnect the interboard cable connector. We can also detach the cameras. After that we can detach the front camera or the motherboard. Let's remove the motherboard first. We find the right place where we can hook, gently lift and remove the motherboard. And we can detach the front camera. Gently pry off the corner, peel off the copper heat dissipating foil and move the camera aside. Finally, we move on to detaching the battery. First, we need to unwrap the brown tabs. The tab in the middle should be turned aside as much as possible, so that it doesn't interfere with us. And the white tab, which is located on the edges, we need to gently pull up. So, we carefully pull the tab upwards, detaching the battery. And we see that under the battery we have a transparent protective coating protecting the interboard cables. Well, this is the end of our disassembly. Thank you for watching and see you around or in the new videos. Okay guys, now we're done, thank you for watching, if you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our website, take care of yourself and until next video.